Alongside Jerem Jordan, time to bring in our first guest of the day on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline via Zoom. He is BYU sophomore forward, sharpshooter Wyatt Lowell. Wyatt, welcome back to BYU Sports Nation. Thank you for having me. It's good to see you, Spencer. Hey, and Jerem. Yeah. I was like, hey, what and about Jerem. me, man? What's, and, what's going uh, on, Wyatt? I mean, oh, I kind of like you, that. Jerem. <laughs> <laughs> Wyatt, what's been the best and worst part about the last three months for you? And I say three months, that's a rough timeline as far as social distancing and quarantine measures and no sports. How, how have you made the most of this thing? Let's see. Best thing, uh, my family recently moved up here from Arizona, so mm -hmm. I've had a lot of time to be around them. And then also uh, been having some good time with a close friend of mine or the girl that I'm dating. So that's been good. <laughs> <Okay>. and, <laughs> and our audience knows the girls you're dating. Do you want to say the name or no? I, I think they do pretty well. Uh, Alyssa Jefferson on the soccer team. Yeah. Just uh -huh. that soccer player. She's she's uh, but, really good at the soccer, and she's a great person, too. <laughs> She'll be a better soccer player than I ever was a basketball player. Let's <laughs> hold off that judgment. You're going into your rinse <laughs> sophomore year, right? Like, you could still be That's really right. good. That's she, right. She was legit. That's a goal. That, yeah. But uh, the worst part, obviously, just all that work from the retro year and then just putting that on hold, not being able to get into the gym like we were before. So that's probably the, just the worst part in my opinion and the terrible things happening in the world. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's certainly been, uh, you know, awful to see what COVID-19 has done and it's po it's just paused life. Right. So, really? uh, yeah, here, here we are now in uh, June. So what are you up to now? So we just recently started our voluntary workouts here. So that's been amazing coming back with the guys and we're in small groups and we got all our procedures and stuff, but that's pretty much where we're at now. Uh, just trying to get back to getting better every day. How did you handle uh, sitting out a year? Because you played uh, as a as a freshman at Utah Valley with Mark Pope. You come over, you mm -hmm. sit out. It was an amazing season. You're part of that team. You don't play in the games, but you're part of that team as a redshirt, right? So what was that experience like, and how has that helped you for what will be your what redshirt sophomore year? Yep. I mean, of course, I was just insanely happy for the guys watching all the success that they had. And I mean, all the amazing experiences that they had together. But I mean, personally, like I just I hated just sitting on the sidelines and showing up to practice every day and battling with the guys and not being able, being able to actually go play. So that was for sure the hardest part, just not being able to play. And after having tasted what it's like to be out on the court and knowing how, so, how fun it is, uh, that's obviously just the hardest part. Um, but yeah. Wyatt Lowell with us on BYU Sports Nation. Wyatt, where and how did you get better as a basketball player during your redshirt campaign? Oh, that's a great question. I love talking about that. The biggest thing was my body. Uh, coming back from the mission was, for me, just super hard with my body. But over the redshirt year, I was able to gain 15 pounds of muscle and get so much quicker and so much stronger. So that, for me, just completely changed everything. It's helped me in every aspect of my game. Like I just feel so much more confident if I can do so many more things. So that for sure was the biggest thing, but then also just being able to show up every day in practice and not have the stress of having to perform in a game. I just had to show up and get better and compete with the guys. So really those two things for me were just helped me tons. Is there a switch that you'll have to flip as you now have the pressure to perform? Like you said, Oh, it's nice to not, have that per se, mm -hmm. but do you feel like uh, that will take a minute to, hey, I'm back in a game for the first time in a year? I've, I for sure think that. I think I, I have a tendency to, to get on myself, and so it'll be hard to readjust to that. So I think it'll definitely be a learning process, like you said. Well, you are part of uh, what is quickly becoming a transfer nation at BYU, <laughs> okay? Uh, you have... <laughs> Moved from yeah. Utah Valley to BYU along with your former teammate Richard Harward. Matt Harms is coming in. Alex Barcelo is a transfer. Gideon George. Gideon, I mean, Spencer Johnson. Like half the roster. <laughs> yeah, most of yeah, the guys, right? It Jesse Wade it was. Right? If, if yeah. not a majority. Uh, what is it about wanting to play specifically for Mark Pope that you, you're willing to follow him to BYU or a transfer wants to leave their program and come to BYU? Yeah, I think that's good. I think it's different for everybody. But for me personally – the two things that really uh, really stood out to me was one, he's he's done what I what I hope to do. I mean, I, I want to make it to the NBA, and he's he's done it, so he knows what it takes. And so for me, listening to somebody that's done it is a big deal. Like I just I can really trust him. 
and then just the energy, the, the, the fight to win and the desire and just how good it feels here. Like those two things to me were just unbeatable in every aspect. Let's talk about you as a player. So here we are, you know, hopefully just a couple months away from seeing you playing games uh, in the Marriott Center, which is going to be awesome. So you're 6'10". You're not a front court player. You're a back court player, right? Uh, you're a shooter. Mm-hmm. D- describe your game. And then there's some questions, I guess, for people who maybe haven't seen you play about your handle. Can you handle the ball? Are you a three? Are you a stretch four? Where do you fit in all this? Uh, I think that's a great question. Uh, I think the best way to put it, how I've always put it, is just being – uh, a mismatch, a mismatch nightmare. Um, I, growing up, was always taught how to dribble and how to be a guard, but also how to post up. I mean, if I'm taller than everybody, I might as well be able to do that. So I know that I think when a lot of people hear 6'10 six, six, or 6'9, I'm actually 6'9 with shoes off, but, you know, whatever. But when they hear that, they think, oh, well, he probably can't do those things. But, I mean, I'm, I'm not the quickest guy on the court, but I like to think for my size when I match up against those kind of guys that I can, I can handle it on my own. And I can't, I, I have been like learned how to dribble. And that was the big thing. This red shirt year, well, as I talked about my body getting a lot stronger, college is a lot more physical than high school, like leaps and bounds. So I had to adjust to that and learn how to take contact while handling the ball. And so I feel like I've just come so far with those things. And so really at the end of the day, whoever my defender is, I'm just going to exploit their weaknesses and do the things that I can do, whether that is shoot, or, shoot over them, go around them, post them up. Yeah, that's kind of, if I were to explain my game, that's how I would put it. We just showed uh, you scoring nine points against BYU uh, for Utah <laughs> Valley. What's that like having played against BYU on that court and now you're with the Cougars? That's got to be weird a little bit. <laughs> it is definitely weird. I don't think a lot of people really get to do that. But, I mean, love you and as a great experience and I love that place but I mean you step into the Marriott Center and it's like there's just no place like it the best fans in the world and so it was fun being there playing against BYU but I think it's going to be even more surreal of an experience being on the court playing for BYU and having those fans so I'm excited it's gonna be great scoring on Yoli Childs we just saw that that's fun <laughs> Bat, little, little yeah, backdoor that's, cut for a layup yeah that's pretty fun I'm sure you're reminded of it uh, daily in practice. Uh, perhaps a conversation for another we, day. We didn't show any Yoli's highlights in that game either. Let's just be fair. Yeah, exactly. Wyatt Lowell with us on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, 37.6% from the three-point line uh, during the season of highlights that we just watched. Uh, you clearly like to shoot the long ball. Where do you rank among the three-point shooters at BYU right now? Oh, asking for my opinion. I mean, I just – I feel like I have to say me because I just, it's, that's basketball. You got to be confident in yourself. But I mean, Alex Barcelo, like he was one of the top shooters in the nation last year. And then we got some other guys coming in that are great shooters. So really at the end of the day, I, I'm pretty confident that we have a lot of guys that can make shots. And I think that's what matters at the end of the day. I really hope that at some point there's the following lineup in the game just for height purposes, that Connor Harding is running the point, that you're sliding over at the two, <laughs> that Gavin Baxter and Richard Harwood and Matt Harms are in the game as well. So that'd be what, 6'9", 6'9", six, nine, six, nine, and 7'3". That'd be, that'd be that'd, amazing, right? Just like, just for a, a minute. Just for something, just to see what it's like. That's got to be like a record or something. We just got to try it out. <laughs> Way too tall, right? Okay, every, tell us about Richard Harwood. Everyone says that... Uh, you know, he is an amazing post player and tremendous defender and bruiser and has an ama- – just describe what you see from him as a former teammate at, at UVU and now BYU. I mean, all those things that you just said I would echo. Like, he just works his butt off. He's so skilled with his hands and his feet, and he's so big but mobile at the same time, which makes him kind of unique. Um, but I think one thing that hasn't been said a lot is just how great of a teammate he is. He just really is – the best teammate ever uh he is always just like pumping guys up and he's always just having a good attitude and he uh is willing to put others before himself which i think is kind of rare and so i think all those things that you mentioned are clearly his best qualities but i think that's something that i also really admire about him has he ever elbowed you in the face or fouled you really hard he seems like that <laughs> oh, he, seems, yeah. he seems like oh. that guy Playing him in one-on-one is almost a death wish. 
he's got some mean elbows and a mean like shoulder. So I definitely just get tossed around and he just kills me. But that's just kind of how he plays. You got to drag him outside though, right? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, that said, he's been credited with toughening up even Yoli Childs and Kobe oh, yeah. Lee and doing those things for the big guys last year. So, I mean, what was happening in practice? What were you witnessing to help those guys get better because of Richard Harwood's contributions as a red shirt? I mean, exactly like what you just said. He just would show up every day and just like, I mean, obviously those, those two players, Kobe and Yoli are great players, but Yoli just didn't, I mean, not Yoli, uh, Richard just didn't care. And he just went at them. And I think because of that, every day, those two got better because of him. And so he just, like I said, is just a bruiser and just loves to compete. Why it's great to catch up with you, man. Uh, it's been a while, so uh, let's talk again soon. Not wait so long. Let's give you some karma uh, for your voluntary workouts as you push forward. And uh, more importantly... T tell Alyssa hi for yeah, us. Ma yeah. ma maybe for uh, the matchup you have with Alyssa Jefferson. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having me on here. I love talking it. to you guys. Good to see Thanks, you, Thanks, Wyatt. Uh,